Stay tuned because in the rest of the video. Now, first I'm gonna tell you about a one bedroom, one bathroom I found last year uh, that sold last year at the Caribbean Resort. It brought in $72,000 in gross rental income. Yes, you heard me correct in 2023. All right, guys, let's get in unit 1405 and check it out. Now, as soon as you come in, you'll notice tile flooring. As you can see, there's a bedroom on the right. You have two full-size beds in this room. Great little closet in the corner. You do have a flat screen TV. It does have an entrance to the bathroom, as you can see here. Tub shower combo. Granite countertops, very nice. Leads right into the kitchen. And the rest of the unit. You have to be smart. It's hard to buy right now property with equity already, but there's no way I'm gonna buy a property with a negative equity to start. Oh, no way. So when I look at it, there is always a sweet spot. Okay. I won't say what is that for the Caribbean because I'm gonna keep that for myself. <laughs> <laughs> so when I finish buying, then I'm gonna say what I think. <laughs> In this video, you're going to meet Giovanni Ibrahim and his lovely wife, Irina. He's a surgeon that got in contact with me through a referral from a client right off of YouTube, just like you guys. We're going to go cruise the Paradise Resort. We are going to go hit the Grand Atlantic. And then we're going to hop into Giovanni's unit that he purchased, a three bedroom, two bathroom at the Caribbean Resort. Let's get into it now, guys. Stay tuned because in the rest of the video, when I look at a place, first thing would draw me as a customer, I look at the reviews, Booking.com, TripAdvisor, Google, and believe me or not, they all kind of match in a way. If one is good, it's good in everywhere. If one is excellent, it's excellent everywhere. And if one is poor, somehow TripAdvisor matches Google, matches Booking.com, match Expedia. So this is the stuff the customer will look at it first. I yeah. want to get their attention. So if the reviews is good for the building, I got the first step to get that customer in. Now, just before we hop into the video, I do want to throw out real quick, if you don't believe me, hopefully you are going to believe a medical doctor, a surgeon who has done his research, he's came into our market and he is investing in short-term vacation rentals because they are profitable. So if you don't take my word for it, at least take Giovanni's. Keep in mind, he is a surgeon. A lot of people trust doctors. You got one right here. If you want his contact information, get up, get up with me. I'll see what I can do for you. Stay tuned because in the rest of the video, now you're 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 basically losing money at the tone of forty percent. Plus, like some administrative fee, like a couple hundred dollar yeah. every month, which is honestly there's no way of running, no way of becoming positive with this. Yeah, but it's just short. We're gonna take the loss to yeah. accept the game. Exactly, and and. Uh, you were saying as you've been watching, there's a there's a there's tons of people at the Caribbean. There's tons of people. I'm talking like it's a great place. People in and out. We have lines checking in. Yes. We have four front desk checking in people yesterday and today. <laughs> so that gives me comfort that yeah. I chose the right thing. All right, guys. So I'm here on site with Giovanni and his lovely wife. We're outside at the Paradise Resort. We're gonna be heading over to the Grand Atlantic and we're gonna check this one out here. Now, Giovanni, tell me just a little bit about you know, your personal strategy for investing in oceanfront condos. You've, you've purchased one, you're on to your second and third now. Tell me a little bit about those customer views and those ratings. So basically, I learned from my first property that I bought in is what customers see is what matter. Basically, uh, my strategy is to look for a resort that has the amenities that people love, a clean place, uh, a place that people want to visit again, because this is the stuff that I cannot control. Yeah. And then the unit, it's actually easy. It depends on the price of the unit, whether I put renovation as part of the price or not. What is the gross rental income? What is the potential in that building? Yeah. If the highest rental income is so-and-so, I know this is maybe the, the cap. Yeah. So that is where all plays a part. And I'm open-minded. I'm looking at these two areas, which is different side of Merkel. Now, now this now th this area here is the south end of the beach. He currently owns more in the north end of the beach, but he's open to the south end of the beach because it's no longer an emotional choice. It's no. all about the numbers. Absolutely, all about the numbers. And here, they still full. They still full capacity. So guess yeah. what? Yeah. It is different type of people would stay in different places. Yep. And that's why every place is unique. Yeah. Yep. 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 Now, um, real quick, tell me just a little bit about you know the customer reviews and the ratings. You know, you you know, that seems to be the strategy that's really, really leading you forward. 
So the yeah, so the way I learned is when I look at a place, first thing would draw me as a customer, I look at the reviews, booking.com, TripAdvisor, Google. And believe me or not, they all kind of match in a way. If one is good, it's good in everywhere. If one is excellent, it's excellent everywhere. And if one is poor, somehow TripAdvisor matches Google, matches Booking.com, match Expedia. So this is the stuff the customer will look at it first. I yeah. want to get their attention. So if the reviews is good for the building, I got the first step to get that customer in. Yeah. The second step, it's how nice is my unit unit compared and to all the rest. This is up to me. Yeah. Because every unit, it's a company, and every company have a different CEO. And not every CEO is the same as motivated as the other That's CEO. That's exactly right. Stay tuned because in the rest of the video, you have to be smart. It's hard to buy right now property with equity already, but there's no way I'm going to buy a property with a negative equity to start. Oh, no way. So when I look at it, there is always a sweet spot. Okay. I wouldn't say what is that for the Caribbean because I'm going to keep that for myself. <laughs> <laughs> So when I finish buying, then I'm going to say what I think. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I tell people this all the time. You've got some owners that are absentee owners. They're not really active. They're not very engaged. They're not really treating this like a business. They just kind of buy the unit. They give it to somebody else to manage. And they stay in it, you know, once a year, twice a year. And if they make money, they make money. If not, if not. But then you have other people that are highly competitive. They get into business. They're going to be the best at what they do. And they crush it, you know. They, they've got a four bedroom that's making $240,000 a year in gross rental income. Right at the Ocean Reef, there's a unit doing that. And she is crushing the competition. But she's obviously seriously engaged in what she does. Mm -hmm. She owns 27 units. And she's not owning that many oceanfront condos because it's not advantageous. She's playing the game serious. Yeah. So all in all, guys, we want to let you know that customer reviews and ratings those are, that is something that you really cannot change about an oceanfront condo resort. So you need to be checking those out online when you're considering investing somewhere. All right, so Giovanni was just sharing to me how he purchased his first oceanfront condo unit and for 90 days, according to South Carolina state law, he has to honor the rentals on the book. That means that the current on-site property manager or the manager that's managing that unit still runs those rentals now you're 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 basically losing money at the tone of 40 percent plus like some administrative fee like a couple hundred dollar yeah. every month which is honestly there's no way of running no way becoming positive of this yeah but it's just short we're gonna take the loss to yeah. accept the game exactly and and uh, you were saying as you've been watching there's a there's a there's tons of people at the caribbean there's tons of people i'm talking like it's a great place. People in and out. We have lines checking in. Yes. We have four front desk checking in people yesterday and today. <laughs> so that gives me comfort that yeah. I chose the right place. Yeah, for sure. You yeah, know? yeah. And, and I often tell people at the Caribbean, the Caribbean has really close grouping on its gross rental income. Mm -hmm. So what that tells me is that the resort as a whole is performing very, very well because the rents are equalized. Mm -hmm. So that means they've got enough year over year demand. Mm -hmm. People keep coming back, coming back that not just one or two units are doing mm -hmm. great, but all the units are doing great, which means the resort as a whole is doing great. Mm -hmm. That's right. Stay tuned, because in the rest of the video... But when I compare it, not every resort is apple to apple. It's okay. apple to oranges. So what I can charge in my other unit is definitely different than what I'm going to charge here. And I bet you that when I check the market, the daily, yeah. night, charge for this unit will be less than a unit that has windows and view from oh, your bedroom. You woke up with the sunrise in your eyes. Yeah. So everything matters. So we just left the front desk. Currently there are 40 units off-site management, uh, which means most likely there's a very favorable turnout for people renting and their guests being able to use the on-site amenities, which is great. Not all resorts allow for that. We're gonna go and check out the unit, check out some of the on-site amenities. Also busy. What we're seeing here is tons of on-site demand. These are all the people that are renting oceanfront condos. Beach access. Okay, we don't have to go further. This is it. 
There's the resort. I believe you should invest in oceanfront condos in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, because you can enjoy and increase the passive income of your oceanfront condo through the 20 to 22 million tourists that visit the number two vacation destination on the East Coast each year. Not only can you enjoy the equity paid for by visiting tourists, but you can also anticipate the over 100% appreciation experience at many of the oceanfront resorts in our market during the recent decade. I believe you should invest in oceanfront condos in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, because you can depreciate them, reducing your overall tax burden, keeping more money for you and your loved ones, and ensuring unnecessary taxes aren't paid. Giovanni was chatting with me just for a second. We're, we're talking through uh, Michael. If you've seen his video on the channel, um, he's, he's going to be converting a, two, uh, a one bedroom into a two bedroom unit at the Caribbean. Well, sure enough, and I'm talking to Giovanni about that, and I'm mentioning two bedroom prices, you know, starting at around 375 at the Caribbean. And Giovanni says there ain't no way he's going to pay that. So here's the thing, guys. What I've learned, and I'm honestly more aggressive than Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> the price the asking means nothing, okay? At the end of the day, it got to upraise. It got, you got to see the trend. Which one is selling? Yes. It is once in a while somebody bought for a cash above the price of the appraisal price or oh, yeah. value. Oh yeah. However, as a business owner now, I'm starting a whole new business. You have to be smart. It's hard to buy right now property with equity already, but there's no way I'm gonna buy a property with a negative equity to start. Oh no way. So when I look at it, there is always a sweet spot. Okay. I wouldn't say what is that for the Caribbean because I'm gonna keep that for myself. <laughs> So when I finish buying, then I'm going to say what I think. <laughs> but I always look at what other people bought this for, how soon and how recent, what it looked like. I'm willing to pay a little more for an all finished turnkey unit. Oh, for sure. Headache? Yeah. Zero headache. Zero headache. Ready to yeah. rent from day one. Yeah. Now, my client yesterday went between two units. Uh -huh. One was a dated unit that he'd, he'd have to put, you know, $27,000 in. And the other one was a turnkey. It was already it was already on Airbnb. You know, it was already done, like literally. Both has different flavors. Yeah. If you give me the unit that need work for the right price, it makes sense. All day long. And luckily, you guys yeah. uh, supported us with the team of construction, like Chris and Sam, yep. and yep. basically makes it very easy process for anyone to take That's on. That's right. Yeah. You not needed to be here, like. These guys are doing my apartment, the P2, yeah. the Caribbean. Yeah. We made the design, we're meeting today again to finalize it, yep. and the price is competitive, and yeah. we're gonna get it done. That's right. And guess what? If I find another one that needs a little work, yeah. I trust Chris, he will take care of it. Absolutely. With your supervision, which That's is right. not many realtor wanted to get in a contract of construction that's right that you can back up you know i you know chris you know chris can deliver that's right so you have no problem putting your name with his name with his name yep and, we, and we've done it for other clients and we'll keep doing it because it's it's a win-win for you guys and this is a combo this is why i'm investing with you because it's about the network when i go to a market i'm from the northeast right so i'm coming in here if i don't have the connection of who's gonna fix my property who's gonna maintain it who's the best realtor that can get me an investment property. Not every realtor is an investor kind of realtor. That's right. You, you need have somebody that can run the numbers for you. And run it right That's and right. be honest about it. That's right. And honestly, you're doing that so far. Thank you, man. And I still go back and forth with you. Yeah, I know. Challenging for better and better. I know, know we and do. that's part of who I am as a business Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's normal. Yep. Stay tuned because in the rest of the video. Dunes Village. Yeah. Uh, you said Ocean Reef. Okay. Uh, what? Ocean Reef, Caribbean, uh, Beakers, is one. Yep. Grand Cayman comes up, Grand Atlantic, yep. and Paradise. The reviews are hot. Typical unit. Yeah. Traditional, let's say that way, two bedrooms. The bedrooms don't have any view, which is most of the two bedrooms that way. The living room has a view, smaller balcony, but when I compare it, not every resort is apple to apple. Like okay. Apple to oranges. So what I can charge in my other unit is definitely different than what I'm going to charge here. And I bet you that when I check the market, that 
daily yeah. night charge for this unit will be less than a unit that has windows and view from your oh, bedroom. By far. You woke up with the sunrise in your eyes. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. But again, it doesn't matter because if this unit is 250 a night, but it makes money at the end of the day, it's a business. That's right. I can't care less. I'm not living here. Dune Village. Yeah. Uh, you said Ocean Reef. Okay. Uh, but Ocean Reef, Caribbean, uh, Beakers, big one. Yep. Grand Cayman comes up. Grand Atlantic, yep. and Paradise. The reviews are high. But the areas up north, the value of what you can make much higher. And it has to do with what the average charge there. So if it's high and everybody wants to be in that resort, yeah. you could, so your growth income could be way more. The, upsides, the upside is, is in much the north. higher. It's in, in the, the north. north. Yeah. Because of what's around it. Yeah. Right? Sure. Yeah. Stay tuned because in the rest of the video. Yep. But for every single high income person, depreciation is the name of the it's game. The name of the and game. that's why real estate is going to be the number one till we change this world to something I mean, else. Real estate is, it is, the, it's it is. Be it's better than the stock market. No one market. got rich without getting involved in real estate, whether directly or indirectly. Yeah. You look at every single one, whether yeah. an owner, yeah. investment, stocks in it. Yeah or a physical money. Yeah. I believe you should invest in oceanfront condos in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, because this is the fastest growing area out of the 150 most populated areas in the entire United States for the last three years in a row, according to US News and World Report. This helps to insulate our market from many of the ups and downs that the rest of our nation's real estate market experiences. This can help you have a more stable rental property. I believe you should invest in oceanfront condos in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, because they have a tremendous upside when compared to money market accounts and the stock market due to the appreciation they earn and the potential of higher annual yields through their gross rental income when compared to these other investments. Money market accounts and the stock market don't have the upside of added appreciation. I believe you should invest in oceanfront condos in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, because while our prices have risen and have held their value, we're also much cheaper than other places like Florida. Where else can you go and find an oceanfront condo for as little as $100,000? If you're getting into the real estate game or expanding your current portfolio, the bang for your buck is sitting right on the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina oceanfront. Please okay. don't publish this. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. Okay, so, so two things yeah. I'm expecting from you. Okay. Or a realtor. Uh -oh. Let's move this yeah, way so yeah. we don't get run over by a car. Yep. So two things. One, I don't know the neighborhood. I do not know what is the north end, the south end. Now I know. I didn't know that before. Yeah. So I need a guidance when I come into a place where this is it. This is even better, like North Myrtle, a whole different demographic. Yeah, it is different. Less crowd, but nice quality. But what I'm expecting too from my realtor is, what is the price range in that area? Yes, the last sold in the building was a crazy guy that sold it for so cheap or sold it for so high. Yeah. Good for both of them, I guess for the seller or the buyer. However, what this unit should be around. Yeah. Believe me or not, with my limited experience for the last six months I invested in this, because I like to be on top of the market, I kind of know where to stay below to buy a place. Okay. Because at the end of the day, we said appraisal, right? Yep. At the end of the day, does it make sense? Why would I pay five fifty to make the same sixty thousand gross income? That's a very good point. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Emotionally, you might like it more, but That's it makes right. no sense it to me. I you get, lose on the money. So I cash and it. cash for me is important. Yep. Cash and cash is important. Depreciation is important. Everything plays now, a part, man. Talk to me a little Cabaret bit more. Cabaret is important. Talk, talk to me a little. Talk to me a little bit more about depreciation for you in particular. Why does that matter so much? Depreciation. It's the game. The name of the game. For somebody like myself, high income W-2. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. High income W-2, we can talk all about active investment versus passive, but this is not the talk. Okay. But let's say this is an active because a short-term rental is seven days or less, blah, 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 blah. Then, in order for me to justify the mortgage, the best game out of even better than gross rental income to me is how much I can depreciate from my taxes. So Uncle Sam was going to take the money anyway. 
I could literally make them pay for my mortgage here because it's depreciation, my friend. So it's a game that you play as long as you follow the rules. Yeah, you gotta follow. You the have rules. to follow the rules, but the IRS give you the the rules. Yep. You just have to follow it. You have to understand it, and you have to respect it and not violate it. Yep. But for every single high income person, depreciation is the name of the, game, the name. Of the and game. That's why real estate is gonna be the number one till we change this world to something I mean, else. Real estate it is, is, it's, it is. Be it's better than the stock market. No one market. got rich without getting involved in real estate, whether directly or indirectly. Yeah. You look at every single one, whether yeah. an owner, yeah. investment, stocks in it, yeah. or a physical management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the name of the game, guys. You heard it right there. We have a high income earner and he's teaching you all about depreciation. It is a huge way to reduce your overall tax burden and win when it comes to investing, hands down. Stay tuned because in the rest of the video, a beautiful, amazing big balcony, but people paying for the view, right? I'm yep. looking at here, I see a little balcony that is acceptable. See the bridge over there. Here, I'm looking at my neighbor wall, the building. That's not what I want to pay for. Nobody's going to pay top dollar. It's for not. That. No, it's, it's not. not gonna... Guys, we're here at Grand Atlantic. We just had a wonderful conversation with Josh. He basically opened the door for us on a few on a few units. Multiple. Kind of like introduced us to some people in the building through conversation that would be interested in selling their units. That would not have happened if we hadn't shown up today sure. and had the conversations, been friendly. Thank you, Jesus. A man of belief, I say God has you know, has yeah. his way of working. Yeah, and so now we're gonna go check out some units that we didn't plan to see. And this is just a typical day in my life. It actually got better. The more we talked to Josh, we went from the unit we thought we want to what's going on with it yeah. that it might not work with the other one. Yeah. So we have a plan. We came up with a backup plan. And then he threw the cherry on top with that unit I'm about to see. Yeah, I'm not going to show the number. I can't wait, man. <laughs> I know, I can't wait. Guys, this is a top 5% Airbnb view. You see all the way down that coast? See all the way down that coast? See how I'm high enough up that I can see the entire coastline? That's what you want to be in the top 5% of Airbnb rentals. So, all right, all right Giovanni, take us to school on this balcony. So here's the butt. It's a beautiful, amazing big balcony, but people paying for the view, right? I'm yep. looking at here, I see a little balcony that is acceptable. See the bridge over there? Here, I'm looking at my neighbor wall, the building, that's not what I want to pay for. Nobody's going to pay that. that it's not. That. No, it's, it's not, not going to happen. And look, this is the eighth floor. By the way, I don't mind the floor height. The floor okay. height is actually some people like to be that close to the ocean. Okay. Right? Yeah. However, that obstruction, guess what, guys? Let's go. It's over. This this, this kills the whole listing. It killed it. On Airbnb, when, some, me, when somebody sees that photo, it killed it. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Yeah. And if you, if you look this way, guys, you can see kind of back behind me, the view is great on this side. But right over here on this side, it's, nope. it's horrible. You see, Ira? No one paying the second line. Why? You can get the first line any day, any time. Yeah, all day long. Stay tuned because in the rest of the video, that gross rental income in 2023 was $58,925. Now for a cash buyer, your estimated operating expenses for a three bedroom oceanfront unit were $39,249 and 86 cents. This provides a projected profitability of $19,675.14. There is certain things about investments. When I look everywhere in the whole United States for investment opportunities, the view is the view. An oceanfront view, it never gets old. Yeah. I'm sorry, that ocean is not going anywhere and that building will last for a long time. A long time. This too gives you safety to what you're investing in. Yep. When you're investing in it, eh, questionable, then your unit can get outdated, your unit can get whatever. It's unpredictable, but okay. you have the view on the shore, you can see the ocean from each side, yep. nothing beats that. And that's very different than investing in the stock market. Of course. Because the ocean view is not gonna go anywhere. It's not. It's gonna always gonna be in demand. It's gonna appreciate, yep. and you still depreciate on your price. So that's it's a win-win. It's a win-win all the way around. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm heading right up the street to Paradise to drop off the key cards real quick. We are throwing a quick Hail, Hail Mary in there, and we're heading to Ocean Reef Resort to check out some four-bedroom units. The units at the Grand Atlantic uh, in the stack that he was looking at really didn't show well for what he wanted. They were kind of the breakout units that have a separate 
one bedroom studio apartment and he wasn't interested in that. All right, so we're on site right here. All right. We are on site right here at the Ocean Reef. We're gonna head up to unit 221, kind of a little bit of a Hail, a hail Mary. Yes, well, here we go. We literally Please. cannot find unit 221, but we're looking for it. I got you, man. Stay tuned because in the rest of the video, now, first I'm gonna tell you about a one bedroom, one bathroom I found last year uh, that sold last year at the Caribbean Resort. It brought in $72,000 in gross rental income. Yes, you heard me correct, in 2023. All right, Giovanni, tell me what your take is on the Ocean Reef. Ocean Reef is a great amenities, huge. It doesn't feel small, there is multiple hot tops, multiple pools, game room, everything you can imagine, restaurant, yep. bar, smoothie bar. So that's what people look for. Okay. Is the unit outdated? Absolutely. The, the right unit with the right view, you just need to update it and that's it's it. going to be a money making. That's it. There's no doubt. It's packed. This yep. place is packed. Check this out, guys. Look here. And the ocean is packed. All day long. No brainer. Gross rental income on your three bedroom oceanfront units right here at the Caribbean Resort. Guys, that gross rental income in 2023 was 58000 $925. Now for a cash buyer, your estimated operating expenses for a three bedroom oceanfront unit were $39,249.86. This provides a projected profitability of $19,675.14. Now for a buyer using financing, those estimated operating expenses for a three bedroom oceanfront unit jumped to as much as $75,189.86. This provides a projected loss of as much as $16,264.86. Now your average three bedroom oceanfront unit provides a depreciation of as much as $16,602.40 and over the past decade has appreciated as much as $177,082. That's, that's, that's a 56% increase in appreciated value on your three bedroom oceanfront units right here at the Caribbean Resort. All right, so let's talk through gross rental income at the Caribbean Resort real quick. Now I know I just showed you three bedroom gross rental income and when you financed it, it was negative. So obviously that doesn't look like a smart investment, but you got to dig a little bit deeper. Now, first I'm gonna tell you about a one bedroom, one bathroom I found last year uh, that sold last year at the Caribbean Resort. It brought in $72,000 in gross rental income. Yes, you heard me correct. In 2023, it was a one bedroom, one bathroom. The remodel on it is flawless. You've got to check out the colors and the consistency and the theme. It is a phenomenal and excellent blueprint for anyone that wants to be that wants to have and own and operate a top 5% Airbnb oceanfront condo. So one bedroom brought in $72,000 in gross rental income. That's more than the three bedroom at 58,000 that I just showed you. So that's first thing. So don't, don't knock the Caribbean resort because I believe it's one of the best ones here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Now, I wanna go on to say, guys, I was talking with, with Giovanni and he let me know that his chief competition is a unit that's bringing in $200,000 a year at the Caribbean. There's another one that's his competition that's bringing in $140,000 a year in gross rental income. So don't write off the Caribbean resort just because the financing numbers for the three bedroom, two bathroom that I chose to show you looked like it was a loss. There are units in there that are making bank. And if you follow the guidelines that we're giving you, and you listen to us, we're gonna help you get a top 5% oceanfront condo right at the Caribbean Resort. All right, guys, let's get in unit 1405 and check it out. Now, as soon as you come in, you'll, you'll notice tile flooring. As you can see, there's a bedroom on the right. You have two full-size beds in this room. Great little closet in the corner. You do have a flat screen TV. It does have an entrance to the bathroom, as you can see here, tub shower combo. Granite countertops, very nice. Leads right into the kitchen and the rest of the unit, but I don't want you to miss the other bedroom. Now this has a queen size bed in it. Again, another flat screen, fully equipped, great closet, and there's an Onus closet in the corner. Well, here you just have your 
utilities, and your laundry, stackable unit. And then we move on into the kitchen. Stainless steel appliances, as you can see, refrigerator, microwave, stove, nice backsplash. Again, granite countertops, dual sink with updated faucet, dishwasher. Now this effortlessly flows right from the kitchen into the dining room area, right into the living room area. And as you can see, nice flat screen TV. And here's the money maker, guys. This is what your tenants are looking for. They're looking for that view and this expansive balcony. Now, you can't beat that view. There's absolutely no question about it. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning. However, this balcony is unique in that it is so large and your master has a slider that connects right to the same balcony. So you're in here, king size bed, you know, moon's out, stars out, you and your wife. I mean like this is the money maker. That's what your tenants are looking for. That's what they're thinking about when they're online booking this unit. You got a great closet in the corner and it does hook right into your own ensuite bathroom. Again, granite, as you can see, tub shower combo, and a nice flat screen TV. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up unit 1405 right here at the Caribbean Resort. Let's get into the rest of the video.